Excellent. That was the Toronto School of Rock, which is part of the Sherway Academy of Music Kids Can Rock program. The co-creator, don't be shy, Simon Lukasevich, is uh, with us today to, uh, to tell us about it. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having us. Oh, it's our pleasure. How did this whole program start? Um, it was my, uh, my boss, our proprietor for the Sherway Academy, uh, Mr. Bill Zufelt. Uh, he had heard about my experience in, uh, in previous bands and... Um, uh, decided to pitch the program to me, can, can I design it? I, I took it on and uh, this is our fourth run at it and uh, certainly our most successful. Um, these these kids just blew us all away. They totally can rock. And what are the age ranges of the kids? Uh, anywhere from, from nine to, to about 15. Um, I typically wouldn't start with, with a nine-year-old, but, but Maddie here just exploded on us. Very cool. Now, is it like Menudo, how you get kicked out of the band when you turn 15, that's it, you're done? Uh, th I if they misbehave. <laughs> Otherwise, they can stay in, which is really nice. Now, my daughter takes piano lessons all by herself. Mm -hmm. Why would an experience like this be better for her? Well, typically in, in, uh, in, a, in an environment of private lessons, there's, there's a lot of um, authority going around. There's, it's the teacher tells the student, okay, this is what you need to do, and this is how you're going to do it. Whereas when you're in a band, you're working with like-minded people around your same age. Um, it's just a lot easier to do free thinking and composing, and, and sometimes magic happens, and people do it for the rest of their lives. And clearly it did today. Certainly. Just hang on for one second. I just want to talk to a couple of the band members. Maddie, you're the lead singer. Do you play an instrument as well? Uh, I play a little bit of the guitar. Yeah. And did your mom get you involved in this? Is that how it worked? Yeah. <laughs> she saw the sign in the yeah. grocery store? Mm-hmm. And you were like, yeah. That's the word. That was what I wanted to see. That was the face. And Dante, you wrote the song, didn't you? The one yeah. we're going to play today. How long have you been writing music? Since I was at least eight. Uh, yeah. What's your creative process like? What, do you just sit in your room and do it? Or? Yeah, basically. Or I play piano, too, so I can write it there. Yeah. My basement or whatever. And John, you're the, the drummer. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you pick the drums? Well, I saw my friend's house, and I got addicted to it, basically. So, And then I basically um, started playing, picked it up, took a few um, music lessons, and then basically started playing after a while. How'd your mom take the news when, uh, when you told her that you were going to play drums? It wasn't good. <laughs> no, I'm sure it wasn't good at all. Is she here today? No. Oh, no, she's not. Okay. So I wanted to ask you, how do the kids choose their instruments? Do they usually gravitate towards one? Typically, they'll, they'll, they'll pick one and, and try and master as much as they can with it. Um, I mean, a lot of these instruments are very related. Uh, for example, with the guitar, if you can really, really jam out in the guitar, picking up the bass is, uh, is a, a much easier process. Um, mm -hmm. It all depends on where the player's heart is. If, uh, let's say, they're really, really set on rock and roll, then they'll stick with guitar-based drums. If, right. if they want to go into classical music, then obviously with, with more classical instruments. I'm but guessing they can't be in the Kids Can Rock program if they're doing classical though. Or is it, is it all rock here? Do you they others? can. Um, we, we've, we have had that in the past. We've, we've had a, a couple of horn players and a couple of keyboard players. Um, there, there's always ways to, to integrate classical instruments into rock music. Great. And what are we going to hear today? We're going to hear a song they composed, actually which Dante posed and, and they all worked on. It's called The Grey Inn. The Grey Inn, ladies and gentlemen, the School of Rock. <laughs> Lights out, locked door, sleep times after last meal. 